Ken Husky. I'm out here in the San Gregorio Pass. I'm standing in front of a brand new construction site for a new solar farm. You know, our number one industry here in the Coachella Valley is tourism. Tourists come here from all over the world, and they always ask us, what are these signs all about? The sign I'm standing in front of right now. These signs are required by law. They're required by the South Coast Air Quality Management District. This is one of the things we do here in the Coachella Valley to protect the quality of the air we breathe. We have multiple sources of emissions. We do have some power plants that have belching smokestacks on them. We also have this freeway over here off the 10. We have a lot of diesel trucks that drive by. And out here we have an FPM 7 problem. And that is fine particulate matter, 7 microns or smaller. This is the blow sand that gets on the road. The cars drive over it, grind it up. When the winds blow, it becomes airborne. And so we have a very active dust control program here in the area. Now, on this sign it says, if you see any blow sand or any dust coming from this project, you call this number. That'll send an inspector out here. The inspector will make sure that you're in compliance and make sure you've got everything required in the way of mitigation to prevent blow sand. You'll notice here in the road that some of this construction dirt and rock is wound up on the road. You cannot use a street sweeper to remove that because a street sweeper is going to make it, it's going to launch it, it's going to become airborne, and so you have to come out here with a hose and spray it off instead. All the employees that work at a construction site out here have to receive training in dust control awareness. Behind me you'll notice that there are rocks over here and steel grates. You have to have a gravel driveway for your construction site. It's supposed to be 20 feet wide and 100 feet long. And you're going to have steel grates like that, which are going to knock the debris off of the tires of your large equipment. Now, speaking of large equipment, right over here, they've got some big graders and water trucks over here. Each site has a speed limit. Large equipment cannot move more than 10 miles per hour, and small equipment not more than 15 miles per hour. What that does is reduces the amount of dust you're going to have from that site. Also, at each site, you're going to see wind fencing. That's this material is right here. This is designed to keep that blow sand inside and not allow it to get off of the property. You'll also notice that the ground around me is moist. In a project, you have to keep that ground moist at all times during construction. That means you have to water typically at least four times per day, if not more. Any projects that are 10 acres or larger in size are required to have a water tower, like you see back here, in addition to water trucks. Inside the project, any place where you park your heavy equipment, you also have to have one and a half inch rock, four inch deep for the equipment to be, to be housed on. And for your employee parking area, you have to either use gravel or a chemical stabilizer to ensure you don't have any refugee dust. Now the contractors out here have a hotline they can call for the South Coast Air Quality Management District that will give them the forecast of the wind speed for each day. And that way, in a high wind speed, you're going to have to increase your watering out here, and you might even curtail activities to ensure you don't launch any, uh, any air or have any emissions going into the air that could adversely impact people who are sensitive to dust in the air or senior citizens. Any project that is over 100 acres in size is required by law to have an environmental observer. This is somebody who's on site and their sole responsibility is to make sure that you're in compliance, to make sure that the earth is indeed moist, to make sure you have all of the proper procedures in place, that the water trucks are running, that the water tanks are full, that the pumps are operational, and it's all done to try and cut down on the dust we have coming from our construction sites to make sure that we are all breathing the cleanest air that we can.